him and they, him and they hama. I'm a blotcher with this cow, they help me, help me, get me armor. All the slaughter, the doubters, all the autumn maracas, and I don't look up to a robber because two parts was a martyr. September 27, 2014. I will be performing in front of 20,000 people. <laughs> My biggest idols ever. It's a real honor. Um, like, there's nothing like more amazing. It's just like knowing like, like my dreams like actually about to come true. Like, sometimes I just think like, is is it real? I mean, like, how he like you feel it was going on. All right, man. I just witnessed something. Witness. This nigga got neck braids. Oh lord. Oh, Lord. This nigga got uh, nasty ass niggas. He might be trying to avoid the camera. I'm, I'm just real happy it all happened though, man. I, I look back to when I was 14. Me, I'm a sexy ass young nigga. See that? You know, in high school, sweat. and I just See quit football, sweat. quit running right. track. Yeah, look at this bum ass. Nigga. Didn't go drive for soccer or anything. Look at this nigga. Look at him. Nobody want to see your ankles, nigga. And I just decided all I wanted to do was music. This was me. What about the girls now? Forget everything else, I'm dedicating all my energy into this music. I was told a million, billion times, like, have a backup plan, you know, but, like, I had my mind made up. I wasn't... I'll stay on track. And she focused on school. I wasn't worried about it. Ten years now, I'll be fucking And now, here I am. Yeah, I see, bro. 18 years old and surrounded by the best team in the world. Love Renaissance. They got me here and I got us here. And we're here for a reason. We are the Renaissance. We are the new wave that's about to revive the creative genius side of Atlanta's music. And as we change that city, Atlanta, we hope to change the nation. And our end goal is the world. I just knew that everything was gonna come to meet me halfway once I put my all into it. You know, I just knew if I started right now, I just knew like when I was 17, you know, where I'm gonna be right now is just gonna be fucking great because I'm starting right now. What I'm trying to do is inspire my youth and my children to like take charge of their life right now. I've always been like a dream big, go getter type of person. So like, I like the very large, grand sounding sound. So when you hear this, it should really make sense to you. And I hope you guys keep this in mind once you're listening. You know, an Indigo Child will inspire my fans to become better versions of themselves, you know, and get up and chase their dreams no matter how afraid or complacent they may be right now. I don't even like listening to Jamie Foxx, man. Yo, you wants that person too. I feel like Indigo Child will encourage you to become a better you, you know, and make you find out things about yourself. I want it to be a phase of your life. I want to bring attention to the fact that we are also in a new era of mankind you know we we are in the internet age things are so much more different than they were 20 years ago we're figuring out things about the world faster we're becoming more tolerant of each other and it's all because kids like us grew up with the world at our fingertips the world is ours so we're grateful and we take advantage i love the world I'm just a person that loves the world and wants to make the world better. I'm not here to stun, I'm not here to ball, I'm not here to make it rain in the club. I don't need that. I know I'm on this world already. I'm an indigo child. I've been here before.